All right, and that was Coach Coleman. Um, he's a very, um, he's a very good resource. Uh, he's a very good guy to know. Um, like I said, we've been working with him since we started this whole thing, and um, <clears throat> it's always it's it's always a pleasure talking to him, and because he's got a lot of knowledge, and he knows he knows a lot of things when it comes to football and college and. Uh, the process. So I think what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him on on a regular basis so we can discuss things as we move along and get more questions from you guys out there. Okay. And um, <clears throat> you saw some of the videos from our seven on seven tournament. Um, by the way, so we've been doing this for five years. This is the sixth year and <laughs> I would say that is probably the best GSF tournament we've ever put together or we've ever hosted. Simply because of any everything that was uh, that was coming our way. There was a lot of challenges leading up to this this All-Star game. And um, everybody handled it professionally and um, even our, our teams, I was really part of our teams, our GSF heroes uh, slash blue stars and uh, our GSF five star. Uh, our coaches prepared them um, really well in such short notice. And I thought that was really incredibly uh, executed. <clears throat> so I'm proud of that. Uh, I'm proud of the teams that showed up. Uh, there were ballers out there. Team Pala all the way from Utah. Uh, it was great to know. To, it was great to get to know the, the the coaching staff there, and we saw some of the local guys. Um, we're gonna have a, a, a separate segment on our Instagram page that will um, show more highlights of of, of the uh, of that team, Team Pala. Um, they they were really good. I thought DT was really good too. Um, you know, they got Jalen Thomas. They got Roman Trinidad. They had some young guys from St. Francis. Um, man, uh, Jordan Vargas, he's gonna be a beast next year. Uh, the quarterbacks, um, I know Jonathan Kraft was their quarterback, but there was another quarterback that was just like, just as good and, and, and he was like, he was on fire. So that was really nice to see. Um, obviously Coach Morris squad, the, the guys from the, from the East Bay or the Brentwood area. Um, they balled out as well, and shout out to High Intensity for um, for for putting in uh, three entries in this tournament as well. They 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 had fun. I I could tell they were you know doing their thing, and um, it's just a really good organization to get involved with. And um, there's so many options for our athletes here that there, there's really no excuse to not get better right <clears throat> um, these are really good coaches they care um, they 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 really want to put the Bay Area on the map and for us that's also our goal and with what we do we just want to make sure that we we uh, give the opportunities for our local teams to compete locally and 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 not have to go out of state or out of the area to do these things so um, Coach Andrews, uh, Exios team, they they were impressive. I thought their quarterback, um, Jackson Robinson from um, Christopher, was was really he had a really good uh, performance, and I was paying attention to to I was paying attention to all these things. And um, you know, running a tournament is not easy. Uh, there's a lot of things that goes behind the scenes. And it's not something that you could just put together overnight or even a week. This is this thing started the, the planning for this for uh, for this tournament like started after we ended last year. And uh, you know you got to build all kinds of relationships with 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 people and 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 you in order for it to be successful, you just gotta be organized. You gotta be on the ball, and it's something that I love to do. And we're gonna continue doing that. Um, we're gonna expand. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a great year for uh, Get Sports Focus uh, events. Um, <clears throat> and speaking of events, you know, Top Dog Four is gonna be a very intense uh, camp for our class of 2024s. Uh, it's gonna be on the at the last weekend of February. 
and we are debating to see if we need to do a three-day deal versus a two-day. It's definitely going to be a two-day, but since everybody is local, we are thinking of splitting that into three, and that's actually what I want to discuss with Coach Andrew. Um, there's a lot of talented players from the class of 2024, and you guys deserve this, okay? And we want to put this on for you guys. We came up with a new logo. We got a mascot. We got a new look. And um, there's a lot of uh, brains that 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 went into this uh, effort. So I'm just thankful for the people that I'm working with right now. I'm kind of blabbering right now because I'm waiting for Coach Andrew. But I just want to say thank you to all the people that that have supported me personally, uh, our sponsors, our, our the parents, the athletes. Um, it's just been a great experience, especially this last couple of years. Um, you know, there's there's there there are some really really good memories that 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 happened, you know, on the field and off the field, and I'm enjoying myself, man. So my goal is to really um, be kind of like a, a gateway or a portal. <laughs> not the transfer portal, but just just to be an individual that can uh, connect people together, uh, bring the community together um, and put on, you know, these events that will lead to opportunities for everybody. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm having fun with it. And so I appreciate everybody that 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 supported me personally and supported Get Sports Focus uh in advance i want to thank everybody who are who's going to be part of this this journey uh in the future but for now it's like we're having fun we're going to keep doing what we're doing um if you are a student athlete or a parent or a coach and if you guys want to work with get sports focus we're easy to find at get sports focus on social media uh we have a lot of opportunities that 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 we offer and um you know it's it's just a matter of like it fitting in your plans like you know what do you want to do in the future so and we are not just a um sports events team media dang that's that's crazy mm. yeah anyways um yeah so why don't I do this? Why don't I take a quick break? And uh, when I come back, Coach Andrew is going to be on with me to talk about the GSF Top Dog 4 Class 2024 football camp. Get Sports Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners, leaders in growth equity investing. Weights at bars.com. Build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts. Ike's Love in Sandwiches, championship level sandwiches every single time. South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. And by Game Breaker, the official safety and uniform partner of Get Sports Focus. We got Coach Andrew. Here we go, here we go. Week number two, GSF weekly number two of 2023. As you can see, Coach Andrew, I Andrew? have over my shoulder, Tuddy, T-U-D-D-Y. Tuddy. Okay, so that's that's the name that you're going with. Okay. Well, that's that's the name of uh, the the mascot. Got it. Okay. I like the the logo. Yeah, I hope everyone's We're coming in it. strong, Coach. We're coming in strong. See who's got the dog. Who got the dog in them? Who's got the dog in y'all? <laughs> so I just got done with Coach Coleman. We talked about a lot of things, and a 20-minute talk turned into a one-hour and 17-minute segment. We got a lot to say, but it's okay because it's chaptered, like I like I told everybody. Uh, but yeah, man, it's your turn. Yeah. Uh, this is like a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 on I'm on this Zoom thing like 24/7 now. No, I'm just kidding. But hey, we 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 talked a little bit about the man, where where should we pick up? Hmm. Well, I mean, we could let's let's talk about this past weekend. Oh, great. 
I just showed some footage. That's awesome. All right, let's do it. By the way, you guys look great. Thank you. Uh, very, it was good, a, very good. Very rough. Uh, you know, we were missing a good amount of players, um, and then we had some some injuries. So you know, uh, the strength coach in me is gonna say like, you know, if this is a season too, guys, like you guys got to take care of yourselves. You know, I know some of you guys had an extended season, and now you're going straight into seven. So, you know, you gotta you gotta prepare. You gotta take care of yourself. It's cold, so a lot of cramping happened. A lot of cramp. A lot of cramping. So, water doesn't do water does a lot, but you gotta get some salt in you too. So, Gatorade and water, like hit both, or the liquid IV or Element, those things, like get those in you. So, um, but that was some good competition for our first tournament. Oh, wow. Yeah. People came I, to play. I was actually telling Kenny uh, and a few other people already that looking back, that's probably the best tournament I've been, we've, we've hosted so far. Just because of the, the, uh, all the challenges that came our way. <laughs> The rain challenge or like everything else challenge? Everything. <laughs> oh, man. But I, I think what made it work is the community. So yeah. the teams that attended this tournament are the regulars, uh, except for one, right? Team Pala. But then again, they are also affiliated with one of the regular teams that come to our tournaments, which is Coach Morris' team, Malo Wi-Fi. Um, they were, I mean, the, these kids are great because I, I think what, what works best is like they know us and we know them. They know what we expect and, you know, we know what to expect from them. And so that made it smooth. Um, we did have uh, plenty of challenges uh, leading up to this, but for the most part, everything was handled professionally, collectively as a group. Like we all stepped up and took care of business when it came down to it. I uh, appreciate your help, you know, and, and substituting in when I had to do stuff. And, um, you know, I, it, it was just, a, it was a team effort. And that includes all the teams that participated because uh, they, they did their part and um, the place was clean uh, afterwards. You know, we had very little thing to do when it comes to cleaning. So, um, yeah, and it rained like hell. And yeah. like, like we said last week, come hello high water, we're going to have this tournament. And I got to be honest, when it started pouring, I was like, I was prepared to just like call it and be like, hey, let's pick this up another day. But man, everybody just kept playing. Coach Roy Harwell was awesome with his 209 TMP team. Uh, you know, they, they had one of the best um quarterbacks over there um who figured out a way to play and be effective in the rain mm -hmm. did you see him in action i was like wow this kid is like a surgeon right now he's just going <laughs> short passes here and there and um he figured it out and and that's why they got far um but team paula man they're used to those elements, man. Like <laughs> the the cold, like these guys are like in shorts, they were in their cutoffs. They were like, they're like, ah, this is nothing. Some of the kids are like, oh, we love this. And I was like, you're used to this. This, dang, this is like playing into your favor right now. So, yeah, you know, definitely got to give it to Team Paula. Like, you know, they, they were ready and it showed a lot. Um, they were, uh, very fun to watch too. That whole group together is really fun to watch. Um, but a lot of competition, a lot of people kind of see like, there's a lot, you could tell who was first timers and like, like the players. <laughs> you can see it. And um, for my team, for sure, like, you know, we had a lot of first time guys playing it. And, you know, after the first two games, they were like, man, this pace is really fast. And I was like, oh yeah, it's, it's fast paced game. You don't have time to like mull around and just like, it's not like that. Like it, it's go, go, go. Cause the clock's running the entire time. So yeah. uh, 
I think everyone's like it, they you could tell a lot of rust was not gonna like knocked off. Like the first round, I would say was probably the roughest for everybody. Yeah. Every everyone was playing like very like, you know, oh, we haven't played football in a competitive <laughs> setting in a while. Yeah. So so it it was a little bit uh, it was rough, but it, it started getting it was getting really good. Like, you know, especially towards I feel like the games got better in the ring. It was funny. It did because it made people pay attention more. Um as a whole, you know, all the attention went on the field, like, cause the, the rain took it out. The rain took out all the people that were just kind of wandering around all the players that are just kind of messing around the sideline and like, because of the rain, you know, it, that, that shut it down. Uh, also like, I got to give a shout out to our, our, our young officials who really stepped it up for this event. and um, moving forward, I'm sure they're going to do you know, like three, four times better. Um, and I'm going to take care of them too when it comes to, you know, um, their their time and effort because I think they did really well. Uh, they handled themselves. They were professionals. Um, you know, some sometimes things happen and you, you just got to adjust to it and, and good things come out of it. And I think if there's anything that really came out good, uh, one of them is that, you know, we got to meet these young uh, professionals who are passionate about the game and are willing to put themselves on the line and in the line of fire. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I appreciate all the coaches and the teams and the players for respecting the game and, and staying true to it because, you know, at the end of it all, man, I mean, sportsmanship, uh, it really matters. And we have to set a good example as adults, right? And I was really uh, proud of how everybody conducted themselves. You know, there's a couple of things here and there but for the most part man that was a clean tournament and uh you know the rain really helped um make it memorable especially for the team who came the farthest <laughs> oh yeah right? and oh yeah and i mean and another thing like you know to all the coaches that like you know kind of saw like you know they were i'm glad the coaches took it upon themselves you know like you know it, it took a couple they saw it from like some other teams like you know getting their getting their players in line Getting, yeah. their spec getting the spectators in line and getting the, you know, even everyone else that's there, like, you know, supporting their teams, getting them in line, because it just shows that, like, you know, these coaches respect the game. Um, they don't want to take away from the game. And they were quick about it. You know, they were like, no, you know, it, it, there's a lot attached to it when you start to disrespect the game. Like, you know, it makes the, makes the games go longer than they're supposed to. Um, things can happen outside of it. So the, the fact that we avoided that, like it, it's huge. So, you know, kudos to all the coaches who, you know, respect the game and, you know, respected everybody that was, you know, a part of this, you know, everyone that's like helping out and like trying to do things with this, like, you know, that's that's a big deal. Yeah, and and speaking of big deal, man, DT, woo -hoo! they got some big deal dudes. <laughs> they got some big boys. Some big time guys. I, I like their talent. They, I, I thought they were gonna take this one again. I mean, they won last year. Mm -hmm. uh, we were fortunate enough to, you know, make get it, get all the way to the top last year with them, and they they beat us in the, I think double OT uh, to win the 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 top gun tournament last year. But this year, uh, I mean, you could tell the talent level that was on the field. Mm -hmm. Every single team, including us. <laughs> had some really good guys and you know i gotta give a shout out to to our guys you know jeremiah carongo jbm from oak grove junior alvarado luke holmes we have some really good athletes and our best guy is probably parker three right now uh shout out to all the young quarterbacks that was there that that got the feel you know they they did well as the as the day went on and and our coaches man coach dante coach romero coach cordero and our our rookie coach coach harrison bay area <laughs> legend south bay legend coach jason harrison uh he he's he's gonna be a a, a great addition to this stop well he's been he's been part of it he was an all-star coach mm -hmm. and uh you know i mean you had some ballers um your quarterback looks good and you you have some receivers that are just dogs <laughs> oh yeah like um uh, they stepped up to the occasion uh the biggest shout out that i gotta give to the tournament at the tournament is 
all the young kids that were balling out, like these middle school kids playing up and these freshmen playing up and rising to the occasion. Yeah, there you go. Like the future of the Bay Area football looks it's really, really good. Like I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited uh, to see like, you know, these kids like grow and like, you know, grow up in, you know, with the teams that they, that they play for and the teams yeah. that they're like, and where they're going to go. Like, I'm, I'm really interested to see where some of these eighth graders are going to go and see like, you know, how they carry it over to like, you know, to their high school career. So yeah. uh, I'm, I'm really excited, you know, definitely, you know, we, we had some, we, our team had some tough games like that pool play. That was probably the toughest pool play that we've, we've, yeah. ever, we've ever had. Um, I mean, we were it familiar was entertaining. with it. It was entertaining. It was very entertaining. Like we were, we were, I think we were familiar with GSF. I mean, most of those guys have like practiced with them or done things with them. So we kind of like, we, we understand each other. So that was a, it was the three games that we had after that. Like first time I played high intensity, first time I played against DT and I had to play DT back to back. Oh like, yeah. Oh man, that was, uh, that was a t and then to go right into the tournament play and open up with the, is and it gold? Gold. Gold? I think it was gold. The it one with gold, uh, yeah. with Toa. I got it. You know what? That is <laughs> he, he is so he is so underrated. I've only seen him as like, you know, running that veer at De La Salle, you know, and to see him have the opportunity to sling the ball around, like yeah. I really hope he gets a more opportunities to sling the ball around. Because that is a talented guy. And I think if, if De La Salle is going to turn around and build it around a quarterback, this is a great quarterback to build that program around. Like, he's going he's gonna to do very, very well. So, big shout out to Toa. Yeah, Maury, uh, he runs a really good program. And, and I like the fact that – well, I mean, you know, I, I remember looking at the kids. I was like, is this going to be safe for these guys? I mean, they're they're kind of small and they're they're young. And I was worried for them, you know, as a dad. I, I was like, I'm, I'm a little concerned about that. Cause <laughs> they're ballers. I was like, okay. And then I see them, like, going all over. And I was like, oh, man, speed kills, definitely. <laughs> oh, they were – these these little kids were skating people. And I was like, yeah. wow. I was like, Jesus. Good job. So big kudos. And I, you know, I think everyone's really looking forward to the next one. Hopefully it's dry. Even oh, that they don't, be. they don't it care. Be. We'll make sure. Oh, hey, yeah. how and about your mini monarchs though? How, how about your, your, you, you, you had some, uh, young mini monarchs coaches, uh, coaching for high intensity. That was pretty cool. It was, it was, it was really cool. And as like a coach, like to have your old players that you've coached in the past, uh, they were, they were actually two of my jumpers when I was coaching track over there to come up to me and like, you know, no, now they're, they're seniors. And I'm just like, yeah. wow. To like see them coming back. And like, I'm, I was really proud of them to like give back to the team and like, you know, mm -hmm. to help their, help their future monarchs, like, you know, like build and like grow. So, you know, I got a big shout out to Danny. Like you built a, you're building something great over there. Um, the future looks good for them, especially if these alumni and these older kids are there to help keep the culture that you're building go like, you know, it's going to, it's going to be really, really good. And big, uh, the Wilcox, uh, what is his name? The Wilcox running back. He finally, oh, introduced I, uh, um, what, uh, oh my goodness. Josh, is it Joshua? I think so. No. Uh, what? Elijah Walker. Elijah, Elijah Walker. Walker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's yeah. That's what I said. Well, I said Elijah. I, yeah. yeah I said Washington for some reason. No. Yeah. He was. He was. He's a thick dude. <laughs> yeah. He was. Uh. I had to. Uh, you know. Got to help him out. Um. Got. He tightened up a little bit during the game, so um, had to help him out a little bit. But you know, that's a that's a good that's a good person to like be there. You know, yeah. he's just gonna get better. Just take care of your. Take care of your little bumps and bruises, my man. <laughs> That's yeah. all I got to say. Well, I, I was talking to Alec, uh, the high intensity, high intensity head coach. Uh, he, he was not at our tournament because his son, who is a stud of a uh, quarterback, uh, they went to Arizona for another tournament, uh, a younger, um, younger level tournament. 
but he did alerted me about the the guys from from midi coaching danny scudero was one of them and uh i thought they did well they 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 beat us in the <laughs> in the first round of the playoffs so we got we got bounced out by a couple of high school kids <laughs> coaching <laughs> and they did a great team. job they did, they a, did great a great job. job so that was that was awesome to see and and that's what i love to see man the community coming together you know the attitude the overall attitude you know at that event was 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 very positive and i and i really love that you know as a tournament director that's 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 what you want because you know you you want the tournament to be impactful in, in that way and what about that saratoga uh quarterback man timmins yeah. Yeah. He's the younger brother of Max from our okay. All Star. Okay, that's that's what I was like. This guy looks familiar. That's like yeah. he's he's gonna be really good. He's Dude. a big boy. I think he's a, he's a little bit taller than Max, isn't he? I think so. Yeah, because Max Sorry, is Max. pretty tall. Sorry, Sorry Max, but your brother is a better baller. <laughs> No, I, I love Max. Okay, I, I love Max. Yeah, well, Max, Max balled out, man. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we got Max and 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 Seth from Saratoga, and I think that's going to start a, a new line right there. Uh, it's, it's great to build these connections, um, but yeah, I, I thought he looked great as a as a QB, and um, obviously Jonathan Kraft, man from Valley, he was slinging it. Um, shoot future future looks bright over there yeah it's gonna they're gonna be uh they're gonna be tough they're gonna be tough they all those young kids playing now and then one full year of varsity underneath their belt like that playing up like that yeah they yeah. you gotta watch out we i i think they're gonna be something to like they're gonna be something to watch next year yeah so we're gonna we're gonna do an official highlight reel for the gsf Top Gun uh, seven on seven tournament championship. And in that segment, we're going to announce the tournament MVP. Uh, and we have something special for, for that individual player and the team too. So they're going to be invited back in May or end of April for our GSF uh, open championship. And that championship is looking really good coach because we are in the process of finding a top-notch first-class venue to host these great teams and great athletes. Um, mm -hmm. That's not going to be revealed in this segment. No. We got to talk about this. So that's the seven-on-seven -seven tournament that, that happened. Um, like I said, it was probably the best one that I've, that I've been a part of since we started this whole thing. Um, and I'm very thankful for the rain because that really like made it a lot more difficult for everybody, but it was great because everybody stepped it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, hey. Yeah. So like moving on. Um, well, I already did my big announcement right here. The, the, the logo reveal I did it with coach Coleman, the, the, the coach uh, who I went to gun. Our colors were red, black, and white. Foothill College, red, black, and white. Who is the hottest team right now in college football? Georgia. Which is? Red, black, and white. And what's their mascot? Their dogs. Yep. And who is the reigning JUCO national champs? The Bulldogs. Bulldogs. So the what? dogs. But they're that's blue. The theme. That's the theme. And that's <laughs> that's how this all came about. And and I like this dude. He's got he's got like he looks like he's wearing a suit. He's got like a couple of diamonds down below. And he's got mm -hmm. red eyes though. I like that. He's serious. <laughs> Can't wait to see this on a jersey. Um, yeah, it looks yeah. Like so the 2024 camp combine. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it because it's going to be a freaking awesome event. We are up to two event, two days, right? Mm -hmm. We might do a three, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. We're still in the process of organizing it. Uh, but as far as the format, it's going to be similar to the first top dog uh, camp. 
we have some quality coaches involved in this, but it's not about the coaches. It's about the athletes and what you guys can do. And um, yeah, we're going to take in 80 very talented players. Um, invites are coming out soon. Well, after this segment goes live, it, it's going to be right there. Uh, check your DMs. <laughs> Check your DMs. But uh, yeah. give us a quick preview of how we are going to prepare for this and test uh, and 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 uh, put these guys to the test, Coach. This is the so, class of 2024, probably one of the most talented group of uh, young men ever put together. Yeah, so the way that we are looking to do this is we already said two days and there's a reason we want to give these athletes the opportunity to really like, you know, showcase on the tests, do really well on the tests, give themselves some time and then showcase your skills. These tests, we're going to do it combine style. Yep. Everyone knows the 40, 510, 5, the L, the broad and the vert. We have not confirmed if we are going to do the bench. We will, unless we will. It, so you're telling me that if someone's season ended way back in late November and they set a goal to be dogs in 2023 and they hit the weight room right away, I think you'll be ready. be ready by the end of February to showcase how many reps can they do of what? What's the weight? One. 185 for high school. For varsity high school, it's 185. Everyone knows going from college to the pros, you need to be able to do 225 for reps. So get in the weight I room. say we add it, coach. Let's do it. I say we okay. add it. We got weights and bars. We got XCOs. I got to make some phone calls. We got to get some racks. We got to get some let's, racks, coach. Let's do it. Okay. So with that being said, because of the amount of tests that we're going to do, you will have to know what position you will be playing and what position you're going to enter at because we will be doing this based off your position. The groups will go in so that each group has ample time to get through all the tests very effectively and it's not rushed. You will get your attempts. Bench is only one attempt, obviously. Everything else is two attempts. So if you have not tried or have not even done the test yet, I highly suggest you start working on them. Watch videos if that's how you learn. If you don't have access to somebody or come see a coach that does it. You know, there's myself and there's Coach Roma from Overtime Perform. We have done these tests. We have the lasers that will be used so that you can get comfortable with how the timing systems work. The yep. better prepared you are, the better off you will be. And then day two, we will do combine style drills. You will have your specific drills for your position. So you will actually be able to showcase the skill sets that we need to see as coaches and skill sets that you will need at the next level. Because if, with as much talent as there is in this class, let's see and put all that skill to the test. Let's see how you stand. Ooh. There you go. I don't know, coach. As talented <laughs> as some of these guys are, I have a feeling they're going to be afraid to compete. Hmm. So that being <laughs> said, that's a bold statement, but it's true. You know, It is true. Are, there are kids that don't test Calling you well. out. Oh, yeah. There are kids that don't test well, but they do drills well. So because these are very, very, like, you know, tangible results that you will see, you will know what you need to work on. Yeah. You, you will see what you need to work on. And this is just a benchmark for you as players to see where you still need to improve because there's always something to improve in your game. Yeah. And there's always something that you need to work on. And – for coaches to see it and to say like, okay, this is who is ready to go right now. That doesn't mean that you can't get there. It's just as of right now, this is who has been putting the work in. So we're putting also that to the test. 
but putting that on the table to see like where you guys are and how much you're training, how much you're really, really taking this serious. And we're, we're so, yeah, I didn't mean to call anybody out, but no, you're good. the players that we are inviting, it is a, it, we have respect for you. We think you're capable of doing great things in the future. And we are giving this, we are extending this invitation to you uh, as, as an avenue to showcase you, not us, you. Uh, we're going to do what we're doing for everybody, but it, it's really up to you to perform. Uh, and we highly encourage you to take part in this because it will not only help you, it will help your team, it will help your community, it will help the area. And it will just be a, 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 a great event that we all can be proud of, okay? We're all in this together. Uh, I, I already mentioned my, my mission in the beginning of this before Coach Andrew came, came in where uh, a lot of the things that we're moving forward to doing are more about bringing the community together because that's how we're gonna um, grow and, and, and make more of an impact. So. I think um, I think this is a really good thing, and and the way you describe things is pretty pretty clear. I mean, there's there's no secret to it, you know. If you've been working out, great. If you haven't, well, you kind of have about a month to <laughs> to prepare for it. That's kind of enough time. But you know, if you're an athlete, you're an athlete, and some people, some kids, some athletes test well, some don't. Some perform better on the field. Some don't, some perform better during competition and you will get a taste of every single one of those. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's, that's the opportunity. Um, Coach Moreno, Oscar Moreno is going to be also present uh, in day two. Or, or I mean, well, at least when we do a lot of the testing on the field and, and on the, during the competition and um, his devices are going to be utilized to determine um, how well you move and how fast and how quick and all that stuff. So I think it's going to be cool. Um, what else, Coach? Hmm. What else are we doing? I hear a plane outside. Oh, is there an air show coming by? I don't know. Is there? I'm pretty sure there is. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys watched our gsf senior all-star game uh which is still up on the website um during the halftime we did a an underclassman showcase and this showcase didn't go as as we expected but it it i, I mean it went well mm -hmm. but it was so raw that we kind of went back, took a look at things and, and we put all our brains together and came up with a very, how would you describe it, coach? A very unique, unique, unique opportunity for a competition that will showcase players in a different aspect. And we're talking about speed precision agilities nice. agility conditioning conditioning oh my god condition yeah i gotta give it Woo! i gotta we have to give I, I have to talk about that from the these guys that did the halftime show they felt like they played in the game they these <laughs> these guys definitely ran about three well i want to say probably close to three miles in about 15 minutes it was a lot for them yeah so it's going to be very very uh unique for the players that are going to be involved and you know we're looking at you quarterbacks and receivers and centers yep another opportunity for you guys to compete um i think it's going to be awesome we have some details to uh put out there in, in the next day or so when, once this thing is published so that you guys can uh, start thinking about it and 
And it's going to be awesome, man. I, I think it goes hand in hand with the top dog camp. And, you know, we also have other things that we are planning to do uh, moving forward. Um, we have an opportunity for all the youngsters, youngins. <laughs> I don't mm-hmm. like that. For the young guys, for the young guys, uh, the eighth graders, the freshmen, uh, to be part of Get Sports Focus um, and Axios. We, we, we're going to put together a, is it called a 14U team, Coach? What is it called? It'd be 14U, yeah. 14U. Um, we don't necessarily, you know what? If you want to play for us, let's go. We'll take care of you. Uh, if you want to stay with, if you're already involved with the team, stay with them. Uh, but if, but we're looking for players. Okay. And most likely later on this week, hopefully right after the segment, we're going to publish a date where you can come out and, and try out. Um, but we are serious about this. We're going to put together a young squad. And the reason for that is because we have a tournament for the young guys coming up soon. And uh, we're working on the location and, and the final, I mean, we've been doing tournaments forever, so we, we know how to do that stuff, but for the young guys, this is going to be the first one and um, it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So if you want to wear the black and gold, he's wearing black and gold. We got black and gold. I see a match. <laughs> Uh, yeah, come roll with us and uh, we'll give you uh, more info um, and we'll take care of you. Definitely take care of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's another announcement. There you go. Another opportunity. Mm-hmm. What else, coach? And to all of our big hogs, we have not forgotten about you. No, we have not. And just be ready because something sooner might be happening for you guys than you think. And yeah. it's going to be. We're looking for a big trench war. We want to see trench wars happening. We saw it at the all-star game. We know how that looks. And I know a lot of these guys are ready to get in the trenches. And 5v5 is getting as popular as 7-on-7 now. So be ready, big guys. People that, like, have big guys that are just kind of like, you know, I see a lot of big guys coming to tournaments and supporting. And they want to be out there. But the only way that they can be out there is if they play tight end. And no offense, linemen, not all of you are tight ends. It's okay. <laughs> so we got something for you. And yes, we, will be putting that, we will be putting that together for you guys so that you guys also get some love. And again, it's another opportunity for you guys to showcase your skills in a competitive setting. And last but not least, we cannot forget about our 2023s. We had an awesome December uh gsf all-star experience for our seniors that are graduating in may and june and we are not done we are not done nope not even close the gsf exios top gun no top dog <laughs> senior challenge see uh, super teams we super call it teams. super teams and right now this is what it looks like Seniors of about 12 players can get together, enter in this tournament, play. It's just the same format as our tournaments, but this is the GSF uh, um, XCO's top dog super teams. That's, that's what it is now. You're allowed to have 12 seniors or as many seniors as you can get along with some underclassmen that hopefully are good enough, right? You want to form your own team. Uh, but this is really for the seniors. Uh, I know I've been getting a lot of message from the 2023s. Hey, what about us? What about us? We're going to have that. And it might happen a lot sooner than you think. So I know you guys want to play ball. And if you are available in the next couple of Saturdays, we're going to put something on and, you know, it's going to be an eight team tournament and it's going to be fun. Uh, registration is going to be live soon, but uh, I know Coach Andrews got some seniors on his squad, and so do we. Um, I mean, we just had the All Star game, so we got two teams. We oh yeah, get 
those guys to to be part of this. Um, but yeah, that's that's available. Uh, that's gonna come out this week as well. Geez, we're just loaded with information, Coach. This is pretty cool. Oh man, it's a lot. It's a lot cooking, and uh, and again, so like you know, so it, it's all for you guys. It's all for the athletes. Like you know, this is opportunity building for you. Like you get out of it what you put into it. You know, everything that you want to like do with like, especially the seniors, whatever you do with it, this is for you. Like, if this is like the reason you want to submit, like why these schools need to take, like why schools need to take you, here's your submit. And this Use is it. your lot. This is, uh, you know, unfortunately your opportunities are shrinking as time goes, you know? Um, and I'm hoping that this GSF XEO's top dog super team opportunity uh, can be a, uh, uh, um, something that, that will help you guys get noticed, uh, because the way we're going to do it is different from the regular tournament. I'm going to try something new. Um, I'll keep that for now and I'll share yeah. that with you later on, but yeah, so that's coming. And, um, and we're also going to be participating in outside tournaments, you know, the mm -hmm. quick sixes, the passing, the passing down is going to be here. At the end of the month and morgan hill i know avery's coming to sequoia um these are events that are geared towards helping you guys just like our tournaments are geared to helping you guys these other tournaments are also uh geared for that and you know they happen because for for you guys opportunity mm -hmm. right so we're gonna go to those as well we have our own we appreciate you supporting us and they have the, theirs is happening also and we want to compete there too because we want to we want to challenge ourselves outside of the gsf universe so um other than that coach i mean i'm that's pretty much all i have with this one yeah i mean the other one that's still going on is uh if your school wants to do a combine wants to do a pro day at your school you want to get invited to top dog we talk about it all the time give me a ring we'll set up a time Let's see who we could find. Again, you got to beat our top five guys from the last top dog. Yeah. And those stand the standards are pretty high, but I know a lot of you guys are out there that just haven't been able to compete against it yet. So let's see if we can find some of you guys and let's have you showcase it in. Let's have you showcase it at one of our camps. And if you're a coach and you would like to know more about how to get involved with Get Sports Focus, uh, we're not looking for everybody. We're not looking for anybody. We are just looking for we're looking for uh, uh, um, coaches that are like us. And if, if you're interested, come give us a holla and we'll talk. Uh, I know you are going to be going to Oak Grove today or tomorrow. I'll be there tonight. Coach Andrew is on a tour to help programs become better lifters. Is that the right word? Lifters? Well, just to teach proper lifting techniques um you know we rep the get sports focus fam this past weekend at a local at a local olympic weightlifting meet and doing some of those movements and the training that goes into that it's very similar to what we use in our football program here and it's good for everybody <laughs> perfect <laughs> perfect form <laughs> no yeah so, honestly like this is this is this is this is the direction we're moving, man. We got professionals working with us that, that really do care, that are experts. Coach Andrews, he's got some things going on that you guys are going to find out in the next few weeks. And it, it's pretty impressive. And the fact that he's taking time out of his busy schedule to go on a tour, you know, these high schools and share his knowledge about what he does, you know, how to properly lift and all that stuff. I mean, that's, that's valuable. So take advantage of it. If you're a program that want to bring coach Andrew in, especially if you're in the area and you're in the San Jose area, I mean, this is your guy, you know, so take advantage of it. We're here for you guys. Uh, we're having fun. Can't wait for, for these, these things to actually come out and in, in public. We've been, we've been planning this for a while now and yeah. You know, it's pretty cool how everything's happening now. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's time. Came, came in strong. Coming in strong, baby. Coming in strong. There we go. Strong. So, all right, Coach Andrew, I will uh, talk to you soon. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, this will be out, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a lot of phone calls. Probably, and, and it's okay. okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Let's, let's do it. Yep. We 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 got 80, 80 student athletes, uh, 2024s to to uh, take care of next month. So we're looking forward to that. All right, everybody. Thank you for another session there, coach. And I'll, I'll talk to you soon.